All right, so Supreme Week 2 is finally dropping this Thursday, March 4th at 11 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. You can calculate what it will be for you, but it's just the same Supreme drop time as usual. But I do say finally because we had week one two weeks ago. They've done it different in the past where they have week zero, or some people call it week zero. It's pretty much, you know, week one, but only in store. And then the following week they do online. And then after that they do week two. But uh, the way they did this year was just both in store and online dropped the same day. And then they did two weeks and now we're getting week two. So. It makes sense because if you copped from it when they were doing it before, like I just described, you'd, you'd have a week one order and sometimes you'd get the week one order after you placed your week two order. Like your week two order would show up first just because that week one drop is very big. It's the biggest drop of the season. So it makes sense that they do it like this, give themselves a little hiatus to uh, fulfill all those orders. But with that being said, we're over here at Supreme Community, which has recently undergone a facelift, maybe between seasons, but uh, we're just going to be taking a quick look at everything, and then we're going to get this uploaded ASAP. This is a, like, no face cam video, like I've been doing for these drop lists lately, just so I don't have to spend a bunch of time editing them. But first off, we have the Supreme Nike SB Dunk Low in the black colorway. I think you'll see this coming in four different colorways. I want to say I think it's four. It could be three, but... No, it's definitely four it's definitely four but anyway these are heavily inspired by I, I think it was the nike supreme i want to say they were jordans like the jordan ones i don't know it was it was before my time i think maybe for supreme or else like right when i was getting into supreme but they had the same um a lot of the similar color schemes or colorways these ones are a little bit darker because they have the kind of like patent um, like snakeskin leather or like alligator leather, leather, whatever you want to call it. But um, kind of like the the biggest feature of those that carries over to this is the stars or are these stars. They had the same star print or design approach on that like center window on the side. So um, yeah, I, I'm sure if you guys are big into Supreme, you've seen those before. But you know, that being said, how, how do I think it translates on the uh, the dunk low. Um, I don't know. I, I probably like the the previous iteration a little bit more just because the materials they use here. I, I've never been into this like snake skin or alligator skin or <laughs> any any types of um, skins like that. I, ha I haven't really ever gotten into. I will say the black looks kind of cool though. The black is maybe the, one of the more subtle ones and that's probably why it's rated so high. And then also the gold just works with the black. But um, yeah, dunks are very hot right now, so it's cool to see. As far as the price goes, 110 bucks. You know, I think dunks are usually only like 100 bucks, so definitely on the cheaper end. It's not like the sub tempos and other Nike collabs they've done before, where it's like you know getting close to 200 dollars. So definitely reasonable. Resale's just gonna be stupid on these. They're gonna be <laughs> super expensive, and they're gonna be really hard to get. So uh, yeah, a, a cool piece though. Black is a cool colorway for that. We also have the Supreme Rawlings Chrome Maple Wood Baseball Bat, which is a mouthful, coming in at a whopping 248 US dollars. And I think this is cool. I, I, I like this. I dig it. The um, the Chrome Maple Wood finish on it doesn't really do it justice here. They had a little like preview or leak video or promotional video, definitely the better description of it that really shows it off just the finish on it it looks really cool that chrome red is a cool look for it but uh, as far as the design goes you know it's just red <laughs> it says supreme you have all of the years starting from uh, when supreme was created which is 94 i think and then all the way up to 2020 it looks like they don't include 2021 it doesn't look like on the end but yeah a cool piece very expensive though uh, moving forward we have the logo zippo which has actually released before i'm not sure if there's anything different with this one maybe it's a different finish than they've done before maybe the last one was kind of like more matte and this one looks like it might be a little bit more glossy but honestly i think this is just like a restock of what they did before that being said it's cool i, th I like you know <laughs> almost looking like a fire extinguisher or something with that red and white branding but yeah just a basic supreme accessory they just put supreme on it big and a lot of people were kind of hating on this season because it seems like that's what they did for a lot of the designs especially one of them is dropping we'll see it a little bit later um 
Moving forward, we have the blue colorway, and I love this. I think this works. <laughs> uh, the the previous iteration, I, I want to say they were Jordans that they did, but yeah, the most popular one was like a baby blue, which is probably closest to this one. Uh, but yeah, I just you know, as far as the materials used to go, I don't like that like faux alligator skin or whatever this is supposed to be, but they look cool. They're, they are cool shoes. And <laughs> as, as far as the Nike collaborations go, they put out a lot of, uh, a lot of stinkers, but these are a pretty good one. Uh, here's what I was talking about. The big logo hooded sweatshirt. I think this is garbage. I don't know how this has that many upvotes. This looks like a, like a bootleg. Honestly, this looks like fake Supreme to me, I think, <laughs> but basically you just have a huge box logo across the back and that's that's really it um black one is kind of cool i guess i don't know it just yeah it looks like a bootleg to me like some cheap like chinese uh supreme that you would find in just like a, a fakes market or something but yeah moving forward we have the uh dunk low in the brown colorway uh sorry to whoever i told this <laughs> was maroonish too i guess it's actually brown but yeah n not really digging the brown you got the like toilet colors you got the piss uh piss colored stars and shit brown for the, for the accents or like the second uh color or main color maybe and then white would be secondary i don't know i'm, I'm not feeling that brown colorway at all uh we have the loose gauge beanie which you know i think the, they do these loose gauge ones every season it's a pass for me, but you know, 32 bucks. If you're gonna cop it, I guess it's not bad. It's got the minimal Supreme kind of cursive spell out on it, not bad. And then we have the uh, the Angry Birds, the, the Shrek special dunk. We got the green colorway of it. And these are yeah, probably, probably my least favorite. I probably like these even less than the brown. I will say I saw some other pictures that maybe did it a little bit more justice than this shot right here where the green is uh, maybe a little bit more vibrant than, than it comes off as in that picture. Uh, moving forward, we have the Fine Whale Corduroy Camp Cap coming in at a healthy $56, pretty expensive. But the, that Whale Corduroy is nice. These are going to be some... Actually, no, I guess it's Fine Corduroy, um, which for a hat, I don't know how I feel about. Usually, with the Corduroy, I like the like that thick Corduroy, dude. We're talking like two at least two c's maybe three c's in that thick but yeah cool cool nonetheless you know um they do this type of design all the time though it is classy you got the corduroy you got the brown leather it's it's a good design we got good colorways for it too the navy's looking good mm. we got a red of course maybe a little bit more dark would have been nice this is looking a little bit too too like pinkish in, in hue uh the olive drab not bad olive colorway and then the black one of course classic dude classic uh moving forward we have the supreme ink paneled long sleeve top where this, <laughs> this reminds me of stuff people used to wear back in like middle school or like late elementary school you have the t-shirt over the long sleeve tee but this is the all-in-one where it's got the built-in sleeves on it. it it's all right i don't know i don't have too much to say about that very expensive though 88 dollars for that price you should be getting both of them like a long sleeve and a t-shirt uh we have the don't care hooded sweatshirt where it's kind of i always thought this was supposed to be like a caterpillar uh we can see the like front on view um but yeah it says i don't care if you something care i don't care if you care i think it says maybe it's not supposed to be a caterpillar but I don't know, we got some weird stuff going on on the bottoms of the letters and some little like motion lines showing that's in motion uh it's, it's all right i wouldn't really go for it and i also wouldn't go for the skull short sleeve top yes it is a cool skull i think the skull and crossbones the style of it that they chose was cool got some cool colorways too but for the price of their jerseys the cotton jerseys it's a pass for me you know 68 bucks nah uh moving forward we have the iggy pop puff or puff e jacket it's that puffer jacket um, I don't know, is the Iggy Pop fan base really big enough to like warrant a piece like this? I, I know they do like underground pieces, but do people really uh, mess with Iggy like that? I don't know. Uh, we also have the Double Knee Corduroy Painter Pant, which I, I love. I, I love me a good double knee pant, but 
the material they use is a little bit contradicting because double knee pants are meant for working you know you're going to be on your knees working um whatever and then you got that double material so it doesn't wear out but they use corduroy which you know even if you get some corduroy pants and you like sit down in them or you got like a corduroy jacket or shirt and you're resting your elbows for a while you pick that up and the corduroy is going to have like some wear marks or like some indentations so a double knee pant made in corduroy maybe not the best move uh easily a pass for me because of that reason but you know i i know supreme you know they do creative takes and like it's it's uh, innovative streetwear maybe how you want to call it so not everything has to fulfill the uh, original purpose of the original silhouette but for me you know it, it's literally just a corduroy double knee pant i don't really see the need for a double knee on some corduroy pants but uh, i don't know, I don't know. Uh, moving forward we just have the tops that go along with it um, i do like the washed corduroy look the black is a good one brown maybe i'd like it more towards like a brandy color throw like some orangish hues in there and then i think i like the purple i don't, I don't really care for the, the green though and then uh, moving forward we have the polar tech lined sideline parka which i saw this and man this has potential but i don't like the execution that they had for a couple reasons uh one the silhouette itself kind of lacks character <laughs> it's just the most basic parka if they would have made it a fishtail i think that would have helped and then also the branding they have on it is just trash uh, but before we move forward to the branding i really like the lining that they have on here uh, i do like that lining but the branding on the back you just have this supreme and then nuova nork stati unity i don't know if that's like french or what but um yeah we got coming in three different colorways we have this plaid which is probably my favorite i don't know they, they just botched this design it, it had potential they they missed it uh moving forward we got the bones logo trash this this five panel the brushed checkerboard cardigan uh i like i like the material that they use for this one why is it why is it showing that image um, I like the material they have for this. It's like the mohair cardigan that they did last season or two seasons ago where I, I think it was cool, but just something about it. The colorways don't all hit. This black one's good with the white checkerboard. Um, maybe like a black and yellow or a yellow and black might have looked cool too, but still passed for me, especially for 168 bucks. They're pricey. Uh, and then the last one we have are these spell out six panels, which are absolutely disgusting. And that wraps up this week two drop list so hope you guys enjoyed it i'm sure everybody's going to be going for the dunks they'll probably they'll probably also have a release on sneakers the nike app um the following i don't know i don't know if they actually follow like the next day that they drop i forget what it is but they usually re release all of the supreme nike collaborations on there as well um, after the supreme drop sometime after a couple days or so so keep an eye out on that if you did or if you do miss out or if you're just trying to cop multiple pairs but yeah good luck to whoever goes for them they're going to be crazy hard to get and uh super high resell so yeah let me know what you guys think of the week if you're going for anything as always thank you for watching and i will catch you in the next video